looks a little strange, doesn't it? Hi, I'm Dr. Hanale, and I am here to talk with you about release point therapy. And I wanted to do a little add-on uh, in talking about the uh, Golgi tendon apparatus, and also especially talking about releasing emotional charge from the body. People go through a lot of things, and one of the things we found over the years is that if something isn't expressed properly, if something isn't expressed to a person's level of satisfaction, they'll carry that event and eventually and ultimately usually recycle the event, start uh, looking through life through filters of this event. Let me give you an example. You're out, you're out with uh, some friends, somebody says something that offends you, catches you off guard, you don't say what you wanted to say back. You leave the situation, you're in the car, and what do we all do? We start to replay the event, we start to think of what we really wanted to say, and it's healthy because we're trying to figure out how do I get satisfaction? We say, go and tell some friends a couple times about what was said. Maybe we embellish and say we said this in the moment so we can tell a good story. And we get some satisfaction out of it. But ultimately, we didn't say to the person who needed to hear, we didn't say to them what needed to be said. So things accumulate and re-accumulate, uh, recycle in the body. Well, how the body works is the body will start to carry charge in the nervous system and muscles will start to get really tense from this. And that's a simple event. Imagine if somebody had a serious breakup or lost a loved one or, or, or worse yet, had gone through some very serious emotional trauma and unfortunately been molested or raped or something of that nature. Imagine what the charge goes through the entire body. If you're going to be effective at getting emotional charge out of a body, one, there has to be a sanctuary. There has to be a place for a person to come in and express themselves and whatever comes out, comes out. It has to be all right. If you're also going to be effective at this, you have to understand where the body holds charge, and we talked about that previously at the tendinal attachment, the origin and the insertion. But the body also holds a memory right here along the top of the skull in the somatomotor uh, reflex arcs of the cerebrum. So one of the things that we do a lot, especially if a body starts twitching and we're getting a lot of action, is as a practitioner we start to develop a flow and we allow ourselves to come up to the top of the skull and to rub very deeply right in here along the top crown of the skull. And it's done so with the idea being the charge got released from the nervous system here. The body is signaling up here that it's okay to let go of the memory of the injury or the event. So we want to make sure we potentiate that by stimulating this area of the brain as well. And when you do that completely and a person takes a breath in, And then he exhales through his mouth. Good. It allows the nervous system to start releasing its hold and for a person to take that event and turn it into a positive energy to see their real strength in it. One of the things we also like to do is to advocate what's called a cathartic breath. And that's where a person comes in, they take a breath in, they feel themselves up, we've got some stuff moving around in the body, and then they exhale and they let some sound out. <sighs> That's really good. Now, what you're gonna get good at as a therapist is understanding when it's a forced sound, when it's a fabricated sound, or when, most importantly, it's an authentic sound. And that's what we're always after. Are the sounds that come out of people authentic? Because when they're authentic, we know that it releases charge off the nervous system, it lets muscles relax, it lets the body get back into a better sense of alignment, and it allows all the energy to flow through the meridians as they're supposed to. If you want to help somebody get back to their state of optimal health, you have to help them clear out all the crap that they've been through and all the crap that their body remembers so that it can be reframed in a very positive, positive way. But that's kind of more level two, but I thought we'd uh, share a little bit of that with you today. Okay, thank you very much.